This next segment of A Nature of Things to Come 2012 is about a very interesting subject. So where do I begin and where does the constant fear of illness and disease end? My journey to wellness has been one of complete revelation and evolving in every moment. All of us are always evolving in every moment. I have been blessed with the opportunity to ignite my curiosity of what grand and wonderful possibilities are available to all of mankind in this magnificent universe. And that's why I'm also standing here to share this information with you. So through my constant persistence of truth, balance, and well-being, I have had the greatest opportunity to meet and work along with and learn from many wellness experts. One of those was Karen Mileson. She uh, wrote Our Energetic Evolution, and I had the opportunity to almost in a way intern with her and learn about her book and everything about it and help her market that component because I was really into finding out more about what is keeping us sick or what in our um, homes, in our lives, what is affecting us and um, constantly creating maybe some discordance in our lives. So, so the information that I'm sharing with you today is no different. In fact, it may even be the missing piece as to why you struggle with illness and disease. It just might be right in your own home sweet home. And uh, this gives you an opportunity to decide for yourself. We're, we're um, analog beings and um, we have all this digital now. You know, HDTV, everything went digital. Digital's really hard on our systems and it's like a sewing, being under a sewing machine. And same thing with our dogs. Our dogs are very, they're analog also, but our cats, our cats are nocturnal. They're also digital. They're, um, you know, that's the difference between a cat and a dog. A dog will, a dog's so unconditional with their love that they will go anywhere you go, even if it's, they're uncomfortable in that place, okay? So dogs will go into a very high, like a geopathic stress. Do you guys know what geopathic stress is? Geopathic stress is, the, it's just the same thing as us. When we breathe and we exhale, uh, we let out carbon dioxide, you know, acidity and um, all the lactic acid, all that, are, uh, that waste. Well, the earth does the same thing. thing. She breathes and she lets out her gases also. And that goes into homes. It's attracted to um, the electrical systems. And so if you have a house also, if, you know, a lot of houses have geopathic stress in them because uh, which are toxins and everything, because we also use, um, uh, oh, that kind of metal siding and metal roofs and things like that, and lightning um, connectors. Uh, what do they call those lightning? Lightning, lightning rods, yeah. Those things uh, attract, you know, whole, attract geopathic stress. So it, your house can be pretty stressful, and so, so that's sometimes why people aren't sleeping well. To help you understand a little bit more about geopathic stress and sick homes, what your cell phones uh, do and how they affect you, um, how you could use them safely, also about um, mm, what kind of clues. I have uh, discover five clues to knowing if you are in danger and uh, so I've created this report back in actually, oh I think it was um, 2008 uh, that I created this and that was right after I worked along with Karen Mileson to understand more about how we are being affected by sick homes and the geopathic stress, radiation, cell phones, Wi-Fi's, uh, gosh there's just so much um, microwaves and electromagnetic um, pollution, electro pollution. So, so much affects us and sick houses are related to headaches, sleepless nights, depression, chronic illnesses, cancer, multiple sclerosis. Sick houses interfere with healing and cause symptoms to reoccur and also sick houses continue to de deplete immune systems. I've even had clients, a young man who was healing from a broken uh, 
tibia, uh, tib fib, and he was having a hard time healing. And I asked him if he constantly had his cell phone on him because that interferes with our healing energies. It actually depletes our immune system and our ability to heal. So it's really important that you read this free report that I've created for you. Go to natureofthingstocome.com. I have a place for you to download that information and uh, you'll be able to get that and learn more about this information, you know, about sick homes, cell phone depletion, all kinds of stuff. I got all kinds of reports in there. So I hope you can enjoy that. And um, thanks for listening to me in this segment. Our next segment to come is talking a little bit about earthing. There's a great book out called Earthing. And um, earthing is about us grounding into the earth. You know, we, we need both energies. We need the sun energy and we need the earth energy. And being here in the mountains, you would think, you know, we're um, very, you know, in the nature and everything. But look when it gets cold. We insulate ourselves. We put, we have boots on, we have everything, so we're not connecting. And, and our clothes are not a connector, you know, a grounder into the earth's energy. So, you know, um, this book, Earthing, they have a different, uh, some different forms of things that you can plug in and use a mattress. Um, you can stand on something. It also promotes very much, you know, getting into water. Like I love, I will go to the hot springs uh, at least once a week if I could. But uh, you know, I might make it once a month now. But because that's very grounding when you're in the water, the mineral waters, and um, also if you go to the beach, you know, you're walking on the beach in the sand, and you're in the salt water, taking salt water baths, things like that. Those will ground you. So a lot of things. Since we're in the cold, you want to make sure that um, you know it's really you know we want to stay warm. So we don't want to go out in our bare feet outside and ground it into the snow. You know, so, you know, find there's other ways to do it. So you can even, you know, soak your feet in, in sea salt water and give yourself a nice, and put a, some herbs in there because your feet absorb, um, you know, herbs and all that stuff through into the um, bloodstream through your feet. You know, your feet absorb it through your feet. <laughs> so um, I, like a small child, you wouldn't give them those squirts of herbs because they'd go, Bleh! you know, <laughs> they're, Bleh! don't give that to me, mom. I used to soak my kids' feet in it. And so same thing, essential oils, flower essence, um, any of those things you can put into uh, a little foot bath and makes a huge difference for your life and grounding you. You're also getting earth energy through water. And so one of the things I'll be talking about on my PowerPoint um, is a um, working with the water and uh, about Monster Omoto's work and things like that. So as I finish up with this segment, it's about the nature of who you are. and I'm going to encourage you to take an adventure into the wilderness of yourself and discover the nature that's within you. The life source energy of nature is your life source energy too. So nature is who you are. When you begin to feel the oneness with nature, Mother Earth and all things, you return to wholeness and love. So what interferes with you and nature? Interferes. Geopathic stress, Wi-Fi's, electro pollutants, cell phones, digital and microwaves are some of what inter interferes with our wholeness. And some of the things that can benefit and clear this interference is things like that are in nature, like flower essence, earthing, you know, get, becoming connected with the earth in some way. Horseback riding is so natural. Um, horses are a great biofeedback tool and they use these, it's called rhinotherapy, to help with all kinds of neurological disorders, autism, things like that, because the movement of the horse is very natural with our own um, internal energies and everything and also the horse is connected to the earth so you're receiving that earth energy through the saddle the saddle being a leather saddle and uh, having an opportunity to make that connection through an animal is amazing and there's many other remedies uh, within nature 
to enhance your wholeness. And I'll be talking more about those things as we move along because everything that we have within us, our own self, we have our own <laughs> inner pharmacy. We make our own frequencies and everything to um, heal us, to be in wholeness. We are perfect, whole, and complete. So I have created a uh, report on a lot of information around geopathic stress and electropollutants and things like that. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to have a place for you to download that on the website. And, um, and I'm going to talk just a little bit more about you know, the benefits of the nature of who you are. You know, when you learn that. So as you take an adventure into the wilderness of yourself and discover the nature of who you are, you begin to come alive and be more vibrant. You know, I was working with a client one day and I was just telling him about all these amazing things that through his own self-discovery and finding out what he could do for himself, some self-care and everything, uh, how it can, he can improve his life. And he asked me what it had done for me. And I said, I am more alive today than I've ever been in my whole entire life because of knowing myself, loving myself, and knowing that I am, my body is so magnificent because it constantly is communicating with me. And when we start knowing what that communication is and tuning into our intuition and inner knowing, you know, that gut feeling, we begin to make wiser choices for ourselves. So you begin to be, you know, come more alive, be more vibrant. You live a happier, healthier, longer life with a greater quality of living. And so there's more benefits. So you return to wholeness and love, the nature of who you are. That's the nature of who you are. You're whole, perfect, and complete, and you are love. And it enhances and balances mental, physical, and emotional and spiritual health. You make wiser choices. You trust yourself. It strengthens your ability to change with ease, even during difficult times. And it accelerates any healing process. And you feel more alive in touch with your values, creativity, goals, and dreams. So much that you can tune into. So I hope you continue on. This is the uh, last part of this segment. We're going to be starting another one and I'm going to take you on a starship and we're going to have some fun. So we'll be learning about frequencies and how sound creates and so much more. So I look forward to you joining me on this next segment.